All right. So today uh, we are going to learn about the side angle side inequality or also known as the hinge theorem. Um, make sure uh, if you want to uh, pin my screen in just a moment, you can do that. Uh, I am going to kind of show you where to find all this stuff right now. So I'm going to present, so I may not want to pin my screen yet, but so um, in the running agenda, you'll see the, here's the homework, uh, here's the side angle side inequality theorem, also known as the hinge theorem. Um, you need to, we're going to be doing that today and Monday. Uh, well, Monday, Tuesday. So today, tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday. Uh, also, you need to retake. You need to take a quiz. Uh, the quiz is ten questions. Keep retaking until the, you get the grade you want. Uh, after we're done with this, uh, I do have homework rooms again set up. So I'm going to want you to pick a partner and go to a homework room and work on the homework for today. The homework assignment for today is, uh, so I'm gonna put a video right here, but um, right here, you only have to do number one through four on this. Uh, the other ones, we other problems we'll deal with on, uh, we'll deal with next week. Uh, that's when we start putting it all together. Um, and then here, uh, these are the practice problems we're going to do today, so you might want to uh, open Ms. these up and download them. Presenting. I can't see the screen. Are you trying to present? I am. So uh, you need to um, unpin my screen and then go to the one that I'm presenting. Okay. Did that work now? So here's the homework right here. These are the practice problems though. And that's what you'll need to have downloaded. Where do we turn in the homework from this week? The triangle inequality theorem worksheet, like both of those papers? Good question. Can you see my screen now? Oh yeah, okay, thank you. Right there, triangle inequality theorem. And the largest side, largest angle theorem, slash triangle inequality theorem, those right there. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. And then there's the quiz you'll need to take. So that's where we're going to be. That's where you're going to be doing uh, shortly. But for right now, let me. First, we're going to do a demonstration. So what I want you to do, I don't have spoons and knives. But I have two rulers and two markers, okay? If you take a look at this, can everyone agree that my two rulers are the same length and my two markers are the same length? And I'm hoping you're like, let's have the, my markers be your spoons and your knives be my rulers. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. If I put this one right here, which one's going to be, uh, look at this angle right here. We're going to call this angle one. This is way off the side here, but uh, this is going to be angle two. Okay, and you can just lay yours down if you want to do it like this, probably. So there's that one. And then I've also got This is a really bad camera angle. 
My other one's going to look like this. There. You should have one going in and one going out. Like this. Okay. Or if you have cards, you've got one going in and one going out. These bottoms are the same length. These sides are the same length. One going in, one going out. Okay. So I'm going to draw it up here. So I've got my spoon right here and my spoon and my knife. Don't judge my drawing. My other spoon. And knife. Can we all agree that my that my spoons are the same length? And can you agree that my knives are the same length? Okay. I'm going to put some letters on this. I'm going to call this A, B, C, and X, Y, Z. So we know A, B is congruent to X, Y. B, C is congruent to Y, Z. Which angle is bigger on this? Angle B or angle Y? Type your answer in the chat, please. Angle B is bigger, yeah. If we had to draw a third side for this, we just agreed angle B is greater than angle Y. Which side's gonna be bigger? AC or XZ? Type your answer in the chat, please. Yeah, AC is gonna be bigger. Angle B is bigger than angle Y, if and only if AC is bigger than X, uh, XZ. And you can see that on yours, right? If you take your if you take your spoon and your knives, if I've got one here, then one here, this angle's smaller than this angle. So this side's gonna be smaller than this side. It doesn't even have to be obtuse and acute. If I said here, this side's bigger than this side. Can we all agree that this angle here is bigger than this angle? Yeah. So that's the hinge theorem. We call it the hinge theorem because it's kind of like it's on a hinge, not like a door. Or they call it the side angle side theorem because we've got Pair of sides, another pair of sides, and then the angles in between. So it's side, angle, side. Side, angle, side. That's why we also call it the side, angle, side inequality. 
So that is the, uh, that's the theorem. That's the big idea for today. Not super rough. I'm gonna do some example problems. So if you want to, um, uh, if you want to, if you haven't yet already, um, head over to uh, Canvas. If you want to look up the hinge theorem problems, you want to try them alongside me, that's fine. Uh, otherwise, I am going to, uh, I'm going to do them right now, and you can just watch if you want to. And I will present this to you. A window. <laughs> now, you can either kind of just watch, or if you want to type your answers in the chat, that would be super. Give me a thumbs up if you can see my uh, my window with the with the four practice problems in it. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Okay. Getting crickets from the rest of you, but I'm gonna assume we're okay. All right. So. I'm gonna call this number, I'll go blue today. Number one, number two, three, and this whole one's gonna be number four. Let's be honest, does any of us pay attention? Hello, everything okay? All right. Uh, so the first thing we always have to ask ourselves is, does the theorem actually apply? We can't just throw out the, try to use it anytime we want. We have to check our two conditions. Do we have two pairs of congruent sides? Well, in the first one, we've got AD is equal to BC. So that's one pair of sides. Type in the chat, what's the other pair of congruent sides for those two triangles? Ooh, Jessica with the quick draw. BD and BD. BD and BD. So yes, you are correct if you said AD and BC. That's correct, but the other pair of congruent sides is this one right here in the middle by reflexive property. So I've got two pairs of congruent sides. BD is congruent to BD. So now we look at, now the question is which what angle is larger, angle one, or angle two, put your answer in the chat, please. Yep, nailed it, angle one. Angle one is larger because thirty six is bigger than thirty four. Angle one's across from thirty six, angle two is across from thirty four, so angle one has to be bigger than angle two. Way to go. All right, number two, which side is larger? FR or CN? Type it in the chat. C 
CN, correct. Again, we got to check. Do we have the conditions though? Do we got, we got one pair of congruent sides? Good. We got two pairs of congruent sides. So then we look, okay. 119 is bigger than 114. So, wait. Oh, wait. So it's which one's larger? 119 is bigger than 114, correct? So really it should be FR is bigger than CN. Okay, number three, got one pair can grow on sides, that's good. We know AB is equal to BC. We got the reflexive sides too though, that's nice. BD is equal to BD. So which one's bigger? Yep, you got it. 61 is bigger than 49. So CD is bigger than AD. So we're gonna write an equality for, for this. CD is greater than AD. And on the last one. We've got 18 equal to 18. That's one pair of congruent sides. We've got the reflexive side in the middle. That's cool. So we satisfy all the conditions. Which angle is going to be bigger? 31 or 2x minus 3? Answer in the chat. Yep, way to go. And was the quickest of the draw there. Yeah, 12 is bigger than nine. I'm gonna put nine is less than 12. That means 2x minus 3 has to be less than 31. Okay, so now we actually have to solve it. So do some algebra. Put your answer in the chat, please. Okay, yep, three, add three to both sides. A two X is less than 34. So X is less than 17. Now be careful, we're not saying X equals 17. It's gotta be less than 17. It's gotta be less than 17. Now, here's the one weird part to this. Okay, here's the one weird part. I know it's got to be less than 17, correct? Does that mean X could be negative 1 billion? Yeah, no, that doesn't work. Okay. Could X be 1? Try it. Try putting in one for X. Two, 
2 times 1 minus 3. That would give me negative 1. Can you have negative 1 degrees? No. Okay. So this is the one weird thing that we need to look. Kind of weird. We need to look at. It's... What's the smallest number that could be? And I'm going to say this, you're going to say, well, duh, Mr. Kuhn. Can we all agree that 2x minus 3 has to be bigger than 0? Yeah, 2x minus 3 has to be bigger than 0. So now, let's go ahead and solve this. Okay, fine. Add 3 to both sides. 2x is bigger than 3, so if I divide both sides by 2, I get x is greater than 3 halves, or you can put 1.5. I'll accept either. So, that's why 1 doesn't work. It's got to be bigger than 1.5. This is where we're starting to get into the into a little bit tougher. It's, it's not a hard idea, but we do know x has to be bigger than 0. Uh, we know 2x minus 3 has to be bigger than 0, so we got to do x is bigger than 1.5. So you can write it. x is greater than 17, and x is less than 1. Point. Oh, hang on. Try again, Kuhn. X is less than 17, and X is greater than 1.5. Or you can do it the uh, the efficient, nerdy math way, where it's 1.5, it's less than X, it's less than 17. This part right here, that's kind of the weird part. But it's because we know the angle can't be less than zero, right? We know it's got to be bigger than zero. The angle must be bigger than zero. That tells us this. All right. What if these were switched? What if this was switched with this? Well, 2x minus 3 would have to be bigger than, tw than 31. But what's the most that angle could be? Type in the chat, what's the most that angle could be? Could it be a billion degrees? What's our natural upper limit for any triangle? How many degrees are in any triangle? Yeah, 180, good. So if those were switched, it would have to be 2x minus 3 is less than 180 for the other side. All right? So there you have it. That's the big idea for today. Uh, it's kind of like largest side, largest angle theorem a little bit. If this is the largest side, then this has to be the largest angle, but it's, we're comparing two triangles now, not just one triangle. So if this side's bigger than this side, then this angle's bigger than this angle. Or if this angle's bigger than this angle, this side's bigger than this side. But the triangles do have to have two sides congruent. That's where the knives and the spoons come in, right? Gotta make sure spoon's equal to spoon and knife's equal to knife, or this doesn't work. This just doesn't work.
Okay. So what you should do now is I'll present the control problem up here. So find someone from class um, in the chat right now, tell them, hey, uh, like, let's go to homework room number one, or let's go to homework room number two, or let's go to homework room number, number three, four, five, or six. I want you to choose one of the homework rooms, go there, uh, and you're going to work on numbers one through four on the... Uh, one through four on the homework. So this thing right here. Just worry about one numbers one through four today. Um, you don't have to even turn it in today because we're going to be turning in uh, doing the second part later. Okay. The second part next Monday or Tuesday. So don't even bother turning those in. You do need to turn in the other assignments. Okay. Your homework from Monday and Tuesday need to go in these two. Uh, then tomorrow you can take the quiz if you want to, or you can do it later today. But for right now, go to one of the homework rooms, work on numbers one through four with someone from class. And, uh, yeah, one through four with someone from class. And, um, I will pop in and out of the homework rooms to help you. Okay. Uh, I'm going to stop recording here for just a second. <laughs>